We're back, people, and today we're breaking up film on Aaron Brewer, Miami Dolphins center. We got to see him in action for the first time after missing, like, all of preseason and most of training camp with a broken hand. So really, without too much work, he comes in and plays a really, really solid game, shows a bunch of promise. His fit in the system is so, so good. Like, his athleticism is amazing, and I feel like, you know, once things start going a little bit better around him, maybe these guys, the offensive line gets a little more in sync. You could see how like he would help create some of these big explosive plays on screens, on outside zone runs. Like he moves so, so well. And definitely I think the O-line played really well considering expectations. Like really there was only like one negative play where Brewer like definitely lost throughout this game. And like the biggest question mark with Brewer was always that uh, pass protection when it came to him. Like everyone knew about his athleticism. He's great in the running game. He's really physical, that type of thing. Um, I thought his pass protection overall was pretty good. The Dolphins do a very good job of making the uh, pass pro easy on their players. That's why I wasn't too concerned with the pass pro when it came to the center position. It's uh, in this scheme, very, very simple. You don't get too many one-on-ones. You just need to be an athletic guy. You can tell he understands like how to get to his spots. And then just the way he's moving on some of these plays is super, super impressive. Uh, we'll go back, start breaking some of this down. But just like, look at the explosiveness here. Like the way he's able to carry and strain this stuff. Um, and he takes like a counter step. This is like an interesting like con uh, concept they're kind of running up front uh, with the Dolphins. It's not your typical outside zone toss play. Like there's this lead toss happening. But by their footwork, everyone's just kind of like uh, angling on themselves to cut off. He kind of is just going off on this one tech. Get his hands, look how he resets that left hand right there. Because it's outside. Then reset his left hand and then try to bring your hips across now that you can carry on this toss play. I think the reason they do this is because sometimes they flow their O-line so much. The linebackers are able to read that because everyone's keen the offensive line. But if you just go straight toss play to the outside, like you can potentially get to the edge a little bit quicker. Uh, but Brewer is able to just stay with it the whole way. Love that he's able to strain, sustain these blocks down the field, carry them for look a long time, and he just continues to finish. Love like a little bit of nastiness. Like Brewer's an undersized guy, and that obviously helps with his athletic ability. But he plays with uh, like this physical toughness, and I feel like it was really, really nice to see. And that's just like when he's trying to reach block people. Here you get to see like a release block where he just uh, gets to the second level. Look how he like rips through, almost like does like an arm over. Um, unfortunately, Robert Jones completely whiffs his block here on 94. Robert Jones does a little bit better of a job, and this is blocked up better over here. Brewer is in a perfect position. He he, look how he cuts off 51. And 51 look, is play side, has already leverage advantage. They're running the toss to this side. Brewer gets out so fast, uh, the concept helps freeze the linebacker's eyes. He cuts off 51 like it's nothing. So imagine if this was blocked up a little bit better by like the receiver, the tight ends, the guard to this side of the field. Armstead and Brewer are out in space with great blocks on their guys. So it was just blocked up a little bit better. Like there would have been so much room for that toss play. And Brewer just continuously does that stuff. And another thing you got to be able to do at center is work these combo blocks this block here by brewer and eichenberg got to give liam some credit on this play too i think liam actually had a pretty good game uh they're able to carry this very easily uh head up on this nose tackle which they have some good players like devon hamilton's a quality guy that he went against a lot in this game uh some of the backups too that uh, he helped do a good job against uh just fire off the ball and then look at them just create this place displace this guy all the way down literally and then Brewer continues it literally like 10 yards down the field. Super, super impressive. Here's like the first big screenplay to A-Chan. You can just see the speed. Look how he's moving out here, man. Like even at this point, you know, he's not getting hands on because it's just too late. But he does a good job on Lloyd, who's a linebacker, number 33, who's like showing blitz late. Brewer's able to get his body on and then just boom, get your hips across, slow him down. And that's a big time play because Lloyd's a pretty like athletic linebacker with range. Brewer doesn't get hands on him. Lloyd could have potential to get out there and make a play. That's usually the guys that are able to get out there and slow him down. And especially on a third and 13, him getting hands on is great. Sustained for long enough where Lloyd isn't able to make that play. And then you can just see the speed. Like imagine some of these plays where we get him out in space on like those big time reverses where we have the center, you know, do those the pivot stuff. Brewer can definitely do all that or just the screens and Brewer's leading the way. He's so good on those reps. Uh, it's going to be very exciting to see how it uh, translates all to these like future success Another example on the toss play is how he's super, super comfortable getting out there. Like, he does a great job with his feet. Like, look how he's shuffling, trying to maintain that leverage that he has. He's sustaining. He's playing high hand, low hand, too. Like, that, see how he's, like, with that strain? Like, that left hand's, like, in that, like, shoulder area. The right hand is in, like, straight in the chest. That's, like, 
exactly what you're taught to do with like hand placement. I mean, the left hand maybe is a little bit wide, but he's straining, holding on, and uh, once he starts to get outside of his frame where it was going to be like seen as a hold, he lets go, but definitely uh, sustains that block for a very, very long time. Uh, if this toss play was a little bit better blocked up at other parts, like this O line is so close. Like, I feel like there's just one or two guys kind of messing it up on some of those run plays while everyone else is having a high level rep. So if they can just get in a, a little bit better in sync on those situations, that would be absolutely huge. Um, we'll go over here. Pass protection, I thought Brewer did a pretty decent job overall. Like, he didn't get too many straight up just one on ones, but he got out there when he like slid to the left here. Basically gets a little bit of help from the left guard, Robert Jones. Uh, gets hands on instantly. He understands like the spacing and stuff of what he needs to do. He gets into the chest. He was very aggressive. I love how aggressive they were. And you can just tell that he can easily mirror and match in those situations pretty, pretty well. Uh, another example of a screen. The fact that he's able, even able to get over here because watch this play. There's a motion and look where 23 is. He already has the leverage advantage to this side of the field. He already has momentum carrying him this way. The fact, and 23 is a very athletic linebacker, the fact that, like, it doesn't really matter because it gets blown up, the fact that Brewer is able to actually cut 23 off here, like, a is already tackled at this point, uh, and 23 stopping, but the fact that Brewer gets to this point is insane. Look how he closes, man. Like, that's an offensive line, man. He moves like a linebacker, and 23 is a fast player, man, and he was just getting in the correct spots over and over again. In pass protection, he was working, he was showing toughness, he was playing with a, a lot of effort. Like here he gets hands on 52, pass it off to the right guard. See this guy trying to, you know, knife to the inside. He kind of gets past the, the face of Armstead. There's a little bit of miscommunication this side. Brewer gets back to help here, throw a body, slow that guy down who might have gotten to two a little bit quicker. Uh, so just good work being like head on a swivel, being active in pass pro. Like he's never going to be some elite pass protector that just dominates pure one-on-one -on -one reps all the time. But like, he got the job done in this system, like here, showing some anchor. Guy tries to create some push using some speed to power. Eichenberg has a little bit of help here. Love how they play pretty tight. And Brewer, just good base, um, anchoring, uh, good ankle flexion. You can see, look how he's like really good, like bend in the lower half right there. And like he's able to like lift him up too. Anchoring very much what you want to see because that's not super Brewer strength. This one was should have been a touchdown. I don't know why they didn't call this a touchdown on the field. They scored the next play, which was fine. Um, but <laughs> here's Brewer just out here leading, taking on a DB out in space, puts him on his back. <laughs> like Brewer's going to be so good. Like Dolphins ran, run so many, they'll run so many screens. They'll run all those like, reverses, those tosses. You're going to have Brewer out in space all the time. And in my opinion, Brewer is a top two, top three center in those situations out in space like that. And you're not going to find a more athletic player at this point. Literally, he's like chasing Kelsey-esque. Uh, and he makes some pretty impressive plays. The fact that he's able, even able to get over here to potentially block Walker is kind of crazy. Like, it doesn't get completed. But the fact that Brewer gets out of his stance from this point and is able to catch up to Trayvon Walker and, like, throw a shoulder into him here, he would have, and if, like, John who caught this, Walker would have turned up field and uh, Brewer would have been in a good position to just seal him off. Because if you see this, John who catches this and he... And say Jackson gets body on, on here. We have this block. John who's read would have been cut to the inside. Really the only one with a threat to get to him was Walker. And Brewer would have been able to get a body on him. It would have been a huge, huge play. And like we had these guys out in space. Like Jackson I'm pretty sure would have taken out. At least gotten a body on 25. Slowed him down. There was that perfect lane for him to just get through here. If Eichenberg or Jones got a body on 26. It might have been a touchdown. <laughs> would have been a very, very nice play to see. Um, just pass protection. Being very active. I love how uh, just aggressive sets, man. Like, they're sliding protection to the right here. So, slide to the right. These, you play man-to-man -man blocking on the back side. This is just like a zone. Just look how aggressive he gets on 91 Armstead. Armstead, like, outside path, he kind of works towards Eichenberg. Brewer doesn't see, an see anyone kind of work on, like, a stunt to his side. So, he just gets body into Armstead. Really slow him down. Help out Eichenberg. Don't just kind of sit there block no one. And now he takes full control of it late. And he's got light on his feet. Mirror and match, good base the whole time. Plays with good bend, body, lean, leverage, all of that is exactly what you want to see out of Brewer. Really, really impressed with him overall. Here we see him pick up like a little bit of a stunt. Don't get to see too much of this, I feel like, for Dolphins. And it's a quick pass, but you can just see the process that he works here. Like, 
I feel like his technique was overall good. Like he wasn't over like over overextending his hand placement, his timing. He was getting bodies on people. He passes this off to Eichenberg, fully extends. Liam gets control. Boom. He's ready to get off of it very quickly. And he has the athleticism to do this. I feel like for Brewer, this being like his first game, really, and this is a pretty complicated system. He hasn't had much work with the O-line. So I feel like they're going to gain a, a chemistry uh, as the season goes on, if they can stay healthy. And then this is his first time. And we didn't have, you know, don't want to jinx it, but I didn't see any really bad snaps from him. Like everything was pretty good. Like, like this one, as I speak, this one's a little bit high, but we didn't see anything that was like egregious out of, out of Brewer, you know, uh, so, and him and Tua haven't had too much work together. So that's really, really nice. And just more ex examples of him reach blocking on these toss plays, getting out of his stance. And this is a nice one because look how he just throws that left shoulder into this guy, into the, like this, his sternum. And he allows Robert Jones to reach him and get control. And now they're both in control and they can create this push. And like, this is a really good job by the O-line. This is one of their best reps on this toss plays. Like you can see how they seal everything off. Tyreek does a good job. John who's out there leading. And then Brewer, Jackson are creating so much space. Brewer tries to take it a linebacker, kind of whips at that point. I mean, at that point, it didn't really matter in the play. But you can just see the process of his play within this system, and it's amazing. Uh, that's why I was such a high, uh, I was very high on this pickup, even though, like, Titans fans weren't excited about They thought he was horrible. Uh, this was really his one negative rep, but, like, he played a really good game for not having much experience in the system because he's such a perfect scheme fit. That's why when it comes to O-line from other teams coming to the Dolphins, there's a very there's a reason like they come and have more success because they're just like ideal for this system. That's why Connor Williams, who was seen as not a good player in Dallas, came to Miami and had like an amazing uh, season and multiple amazing seasons. Here he just gets a little bit over the top. Uh, them more trying to work some inside stuff, which when they did run like and this is against Devon Hamilton, who's just a really good player on the interior. He just gets a little over the top. This is like the only time where I feel like his hand placement wasn't good, not great technique. Tries to recover, but it's a little bit too late. But they did make up for it on some more interior type of runs where they started running a gap scheme later on and he was playing some bully ball along with the rest of the O-line. Uh, but as you can see, Brewer just continues to look for work even though he's got nothing going on here. He's sliding to the left. He doesn't just wait. Like he sees, like he knows he doesn't want to overcommit sometimes. Like you want to stay here just in case this guy does try to work to the inside. Once he sees Lloyd throw the spin move, he's like, okay, I'm going to attack. I'm going to get involved. I'm going to help Jones out. Like he basically is like, hey, I'm going to take him on, Robert. Okay, this is, <laughs> I got this. And gets over there to get hands on so that's uh, pretty funny and just very aggressive in pass protection love the aggressiveness and that's so important in this game like sometimes it's okay if like maybe you get a little bit of a whiff if you get and you get like thrown to the ground dolphins are so fast within their system if you're aggressive in pass protection especially in, like play action these guys are already slowed down in like their pass rush out there because they think it might be a run uh we get the ball it's so quick that with the aggressive pass protection it can still be effective it's a uh, very, very nice to see. Here we get to see just this screen stuff, like plays that you can do this to be able to get hands on 96 and then throw him by late. So you slow him down long enough that he's not going to get to Tua. He looks uncomfortable. And then for him to now then peel out later and then still be able to be in a position where he can cut off 59 like that is insane athleticism. Uh, I think he got a little bit out of position right there, but he was able to recover, get back into it. Uh, wasn't blocked up perfectly all around. But just the example there of him being able to get to those spots uh, is why center is so much. I think they value center so much more than guards in the system because it's more valuable for these guys to get their, to their spots. Because if you watch the Dolphin system, a lot, of, a lot of the time, it's just the guards being like, hey, we just need you to reach one spot. Like, If you can reach a three tech as a guard to play side, you're good. If you're the backside guard and you can reach the one tech, that's what we're asking for. Now here, Robert Jones in, uh, kind of fails that. Liam does a decent job, but like, look what they asked the like the center and the tackles do. The tackle has to climb to the next level. Armstead, the tackle has to climb to the next level. Center has to climb to the next level. They asked the, those guys to climb way more often. That's why the athleticism at those positions more important. I think they put more of a premium on tackles and centers than they do at guard. Uh, they asked the guards to do a little bit of the easier stuff. Like here, of Jones just does a bit of a better job. This could have been a much better play. Um, unfortunately, it was kind of messed up anyways. Like. Tyson Campbell, they left unblocked either way, but you can just see the potential we have with these guys out there. Um, it will just come with some experience. Like the O-line's never going to be perfect. They don't have the greatest group of guys, but I really liked what I saw from Brewer in this scheme. I think he's gonna just like perfect for what they need and uh, A-Chan, Mostert, they're going to break some 
eventually, and it's going to be off the back back of a guy like Brewer. So if you guys are the demons for that, come subscribe to the channel.